tonight, some Roanokers are asking for the city's help dealing with a major headache. They fear a busy intersection in South Roanoke will soon be even busier as Carillion continues to grow Roanoke Memorial Hospital. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows why they hope a roundabout will solve the problem. If you drive South Roanoke, you probably know this intersection. Ask the people that live right around it and they've all got stories. Oh, it's a title, total nightmare because people don't stop for the stop signs here and uh, a three-way intersection it makes it very dangerous. Charles Waitley lives up the street from the corner of Broadway Avenue and McClanahan Street. It's confusing to say the least. Driving down McClanahan toward the hospital, it's a stop sign. Coming the other way away from the hospital, just drive straight on through. And then it's also a stop sign coming down Broadway. Did you get all that? And we want people to be able to, to quickly and effectively, efficiently reach from, from resident to place of work. And we think a roundabout would be very good here. Barbara Dirk is the president of the Neighborhood Association and led Wednesday night's meeting to talk over this gateway into the area. As Carillion continues to grow its footprint, they fear this busy intersection will soon be even busier. And they think a traffic circle the right answer. But I know that roundabouts are becoming quite popular and are our priority for new urban design. Wells Fargo recently told them they're closing this branch and the neighborhood now thinks this is the time. They're in the early steps of trying to persuade the city. And Waitley says they want to make the neighborhood work for everyone. Well, I think it'll make a big difference because it'll make it safer for people to go through the intersection. It'll also speed things up for the fire department that's going to be going in down there and also people going to the hospital. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. The city says it's aware of neighbors' concerns. We asked Carillion about the situation, and a spokeswoman says they're monitoring it but don't have anything to share quite yet.